Welcome back to the channel. Today we are integrating our energy meter in Home Assistant. And to do this we use the P1 meter and the active P1 splitter from Home Wizard. When we open up the P1 meter we find a manual inside with different languages. Installation is straightforward. Plug it into the P1 port of your NG meter. If the P1 port doesn't supply enough power for this meter, you can always connect a power supply to the USB-C slot underneath. We are not going to talk about the eco-friendly cardboard box, but personally I think that's a plus. For the device itself, it's really small and that's a plus too. Then we come to the active splitter, also eco-friendly box. In the box we have the P1 splitter and the RJ12 cable. The splitter and the P1 meter is provided by Home Wizard. Thank you for that. There is a USB-C port on the splitter where you can provide it with some extra power if your P1 meter doesn't provide enough. You can use an old phone charger like this Samsung one. The installation is straightforward. Put some external power on the splitter. In my case I removed it later on because my P1 meter does provide enough power. Then attach the RJ12 cable to the first port of the splitter. And plug the other end to the P1 port. Then plug the P1 meter and your other devices into the P1 splitter. And that was basically the whole physical installation. Now let's install some software. On your phone, scan the QR code in the manual. Then download and install the Home Wizard Energy app. And when it's installed, open the app. Next step is to make an account. Fill in your mail address. Fill in your name. Here you can choose if you want notifications or not. And then we're going to make a new house. I'm going to use my current location. and give it a name then choose the device you want to pair and then press the button to put it in pair mode We are going to connect this device to my IoT network. When the device is connecting to Wi-Fi, I'm going to give you my conclusion about the installation of this device. The physical and the app installation is very, very simple.
and then when we're done we're gonna open the app look at the settings go to meters select your meter scroll down and check if local API is turned on after we check this we can integrate it in home assistant and in home assistant we go to settings and then to devices and services if everything is working it should be already be detected and you just have to push the button configure press submit and then select the area where the device is located after this the device is added and you can see all the different sensors that are available now we have these sensors we're gonna make it more visual to do that we're gonna add the sensors to the energy dashboard in the background you can see me add the different sensors to the electricity grid I'm gonna explain something more about the different sensors we have for example you've got energy export sensor and you have the energy export sensor tariff 1 and energy export sensor tariff 2 if you're adding the energy export sensor don't add the tariff 1 and the tariff 2 one because if you add tariff 1 with tariff 2 you get the same amount as energy export if you add them all three you get energy export plus tariff 1 plus tariff 2 you will double your energy export so if you want the graphs to be exact you have to make a choice to show the tariffs or an accumulated number in the background you can see I added all the meters at first I later removed the accumulated numbers to get an exact graph after this your integration is complete now you can get some beautiful graphs to get insights of your energy use do keep in mind that your graphs need time to build up in the background you can see a beautiful animated gif that you get on the energy dashboard that shows you your actual daily energy use and if that's not enough you can install the power flow card plus to get an insight of your active power usage and that rounds it up for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the descriptions below thanks again to home wizard for supplying the p1 meter and the p1 splitter thanks again to my patreons please like and subscribe or you can support me on patreon thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next project